For three years, we've been documenting one family's journey to help their son break the autism barrier. This is a family that just plain never gives up. They've tried so many things, but as Jeff Valiant explains now, they ultimately found their greatest hope on a leash. Be nice to Caden now. Let's see what Caden's doing. Hi, Caden. As an infant, he did all the things that melt a mother's heart. There you are. Love you so much. Oh. By the time he reached a year and a half, come see mom. He was disconnecting from everyone, even her. A lot of his behaviors, I think, come from him not being able to get out what he needs to get out when he needs to get out, get it out. For weeks, he wouldn't sleep at huh? night. What are you doing? What do you want? He struggled to communicate. <laughs> Screams came much easier than words. I hope I never get to the point where where I just give up. This is the reality for a family touched by autism. Happy birthday to you. Caden is Marjorie Okerstrom's second child to be diagnosed with the developmental disorder. Son Tanner's had great success in therapy, enough to be mainstreamed in school. But Caden's case is more severe. His improvement is like smaller than baby steps. <laughs> it's just teeny tiny, you know. One day when he was about three, the door to Caden's closed world opened just a crack. It's almost like she reads what this boy needs, and he needs her. Nicole Lindstrom, Caden's occupational therapist, wondered if a dog might help him pay more attention during therapy. She introduced him to Sasha. It was magic. It cats. Somehow, this ritual of laying on the dog and feeling that soft fur next to his own skin brought Caden out of his shell. He'd sit still long enough to pay attention to Nicole and learn. Good job, look at what you're doing. I can remember talking to Caden's mom about getting the dog. And she didn't know if it would work. She was scared. She didn't know if they could take care of it. Marjorie Okerstrom has tried just about everything to help Caden break the chains of autism. Special therapies, special diets, even oxygen treatments in a hyperbaric chamber. Let me scoot the pillow over. I talked to a lot of parents that are burnt out and their kids are older now. And there's a lot of stuff available, but they just said, we can't do it anymore. And I hope I never get there. Which brings us to this moment. He's very tolerant. He, he's got a great personality. The Ogerstroms are making another addition to their very active household. It's a bold attempt to help Caden. Truman is specially trained for children with autism. Hi, Truman. The demand for these dogs is great. The Okerstroms were on a waiting list for three years. Truman, no, oh, he likes you. There are no guarantees this relationship is going to work. Gouda, gouda. Twenty minutes after Truman and Caden meet, the moment of truth. Yeah, there you go. Do you recognize this, Jeff? Caden does his belly thing with Truman. <laughs> Good boy, Truman. Good boy. The friendship is now official. I was so excited when he got to lay, when he laid on him, like he used to do with Sasha, um, because that was a big test, I think. <laughs> and he didn't move, so that was good. The ultimate goal is for Caden and Truman to become a team. The dog is here to help the boy calm down in stressful situations, to distract him from his own emotions. Now we're going to take Truman for a walk, okay? This is the first test. I never take Caden on walks. He's always in a stroller. Caden doesn't like any changes in his routine. Anything new, if it's a hat, if it's a belt, freaks out. We usually have to work on that for months. Walking with Truman will require him to wear a belt that attaches to the dog's vest. Arm out. We'll turn it around. See? The walk with Truman is just a few feet, but it's a promising start. A week later, there are already big changes. Okay, you do it. Look. Good job. 
Caden not only tolerates wearing the walking belt, he puts it on by himself. Caden, get your dog. We'll go for a little walk. Before Truman entered the picture, Caden would never walk around the block without bolting or putting up a fuss. But look how calm and focused he is now. Caden, let's give Truman a snack. As part of the bonding process, True. only Caden is allowed to feed Truman. <coughs> this team is starting to click. Get your dog. Okay, let's go. The Come next on, week, Mom takes Caden and Truman to visit the therapist. Say hi, Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Hi, buddy. Who's this? Say dog. Dog. Show me. She immediately notices a change. The most profound thing I've seen is how calm he is. He's calm. He's looking at people. He's interacting. He's going from one thing to the next. Swing. That's the biggest thing. What, buddy? And like asking Swing. Swing. Oh, the swing. Do you want to do the swing? Yes. Yes. All right. Let's do the swing. He's never requested anything from him ever before. All right, my friend. The ram. Nice dog. This is a huge step in Caden's development. It shows the canine connection that started with Sasha is now working with Truman. The shell around Caden is cracking. Hey, buddy, are we all done with swing? Cool. Are you all done? All done? All done? All done? All right. It's like the most proud moment I've had as an occupational therapist ever. Truly, ever. This is the biggest accomplishment I've ever done. In 12 years, this is it. <laughs> it's also a proud moment for Dave Kettering and his fluffy white sidekick. Can I have Sasha get down? Get down. Okay. Take it down. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh, I just want to hug her. To see him talk, you know, to see him interact, to see him smile, to see him get, hey. Apparently, Sasha is proud, too. Caden, come sleep. Bedtime can still be a challenge. Jesus died for all the children of the world. But now, more often than not, Caden sleeps through the night, thanks to the new friend who snuggles up against him. You kind of try whatever you can, whatever works for other families. It might just work for him. The Okerstrom's got Truman from Can Do Canines. He was free of charge. The organization relies strictly on public donations for its funding. If you'd like more information about getting a service dog or making a donation, you can find a link on our website, myfox9.com. I'm Jeff Ballion. What a story. I don't even know what to say. You know, what, what's so amazing about that is Caden's mother has shown such unconditional love for her son, and yet every pet owner will tell you that their pets give them so much unconditional love in return, and we can see that magic just happening there for Caden. Improvement is amazing. Wonderful. So great. Great right, storytelling. Great job.